the like button when you see Alistair Overeem eating horse meat on the screen. Horse meat is uh, very good. I, I like to eat it maybe um, once, twice a day. In, um, over in the Netherlands, it's, a very, it's a very normal. We just go to the, um, the supermarket and we just buy um, horse meat. It's, um, it's very, very tender. I like it. Yo, what's up everybody? Adam Marcy with UFC 3 Tips and Tricks. In this video, I'm going to show you five combinations that make Ed Parker damn near untouchable in UFC 3. I'll show you gameplay footage of Ed using these exact combos, and I have no doubt if you add them to your arsenal, it'll instantly level up your striking game. Alright, so if you like this video, make sure you press the thumbs up button, because if I get 200 likes, I'm going to be doing the same kind of video for Martial Mind, and I'll bring to you five combos that Martial likes to use. Alright, so if you like this kind of content, press the like button, and I'll make more videos just like this. Alright, let's get started. The first combo on our list isn't extremely confusing, in fact it's only two strikes long. I'm actually going to give you two combos because they're pretty darn similar and I don't want to be cheap and take up two spots on the list. So the first combo you'll see Ed do a lot is a jab to the stomach followed by a lead hook to the body. And the other one that I'm grouping in into the same slot is a straight to the body followed by a lead hook to the head. Now, these combos are similar because they're one strike to the body followed by that lead hook to the head, and they have a very similar effect on your opponent. One thing that they're going to do, arguably the best part of this combination, is it's confusing your opponent and conditioning them to not really know whether you're going to the body first or to the head first. Because as you can imagine, most of your other combos probably start with some sort of action up top. So mixing some up that start to the body, let alone a jab to the body, it, it's rare and it's a bit offsetting and it's confusing. Another thing that makes this combo so useful is that it fits in with a lot of the other combos on this list and other lists that I've made to just generally confuse your opponent. Because if some start low and end high and others, you know, go three shots up top, they're not going to know what's coming. So, I know it's kind of similar to what I just said, but keep that in mind because it's really important. All right, let's move on to the next combination. All right, so for combo number two that makes Ed Parker an extremely high level striker, I'm doing it again. I'm grouping two different combos together because there was just so much content for this video. The two combos that are pretty darn similar, the first one is a jab, lead hook, rear uppercut, lead hook. And the second one is a jab, lead hook, straight lead hook. So the only strike that's actually different is that third strike in the first example, it's an uppercut. In the second example, it's a straight. Now, why are these two combos so effective? One is if you're properly mixing up your combos, your opponent might be used to seeing one or maybe two strike combinations going up and down. So when you throw four strikes all to the head, it's going to be something they're not used to seeing from you. That's why you should only do this combo sparingly throughout the fight. Another time that it may be really good to use is if you've lowered your opponent's block or if you're attempting to lower your opponent's block. These shots come from all angles and there's four strikes. So if you could get them up against the cage or get good at cutting off their movement, you could potentially do a lot of damage to their block and or their head. All right, let's move on to the next combination. All right, so combo number three isn't really a combination. It's only one punch, but I noticed Ed was doing this a fair amount in his gameplay and I really wanted to bring it to you guys. So what he does is he'll wait for his opponent to throw a predictable two, three punch combo and he'll sway towards the end of it and land a rear uppercut to the body. Now, one reason I love this so much is because this is actually something that I do. And when I saw Ed do it, I was really happy that we had something in common. But um, basically this is really effective because your opponent's stamina has been lowered from throwing a few strikes and now by landing that uppercut to the body it's magnified in its effectiveness all right so fairly simple tip there this video is going pretty damn quick let's move on to the fourth combo that ed likes to use all right so combo number four is one that works in really well with combo one if you remember combo number one was a two to the body followed by a lead hook up top or the variation was a jab to the body followed by a lead hook up top this a simple combo feeds in very nice with that one and this combo is a double jab up top 
followed by a straight to the body. Now you're going to need a decent boxer to do this combo, but assuming you have one, it's very effective because now you're starting to see um, that we're really confusing the opponent in terms of if we're going up down or, or whatever the case is. All right, so hopefully you guys understand what I'm talking about when I mean leaving your opponent confused and not sure what to expect. Hopefully you see that these simpler combos do a great job of that. Let's move on to the fifth combination. All right, so combo number five. I know you guys wanted some fancy shit, so I had to include some in the list. This combination is a lead hook followed by a rear straight, followed by a lead hook, followed by a rear uppercut. One reason it's great, as you could probably guess, it's a lot of power shots. So if you land even one, two, three of these shots, you can do a lot of damage to your opponent. And if you catch them in the midst of a sway, you could potentially knock them down or out if they're swaying into your hook, into your uppercut, etc. One more reason I like it is because it includes a straight punch in the middle of some hooks and uppercuts. And as you guys know, you can counter these shorter shots with a pull counter. So by adding a straight in there, it's not foolproof, but it lessens the chance that you're gonna get pull counter. All right, so I just gave you guys five amazing combinations that Ed Parker loves to use. But wait, don't go anywhere yet. We've got one more bonus tip that I'm taking straight out of my next video that I'm dropping on this channel. This one's gonna be top 10 combos that top players like to use. It's gonna be a curation of all your favorite top players in UFC 3, and I'm gonna show you the combos they have in common. But this was one thing that Ed Parker was teaching to Romero on one of his streams, and I found it really interesting. So I figured, I mean, it's, Ed Par it's an Ed Parker video, why not just include it in this one as well? So hopefully you guys enjoy this tip. Check it out. I wanna show you something that I found. It's not like a glitch, but it's like a cool animation. You know, so you can do this, so if someone comes in like one, two, you can slip, throw that, and look, look how late that, you can just string that animation out so long, so you can like this, string that animation out, so. This is the one that we discovered, right? This one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one's sort of like that, but be like a time sort of like. Woo! Try that with Connor. All right, so what did you guys think of those five combos that I gave you plus that bonus tip at the end? I really hope you guys either learned a combo or maybe just kind of I opened your eyes to some of these simpler combos that you should be including to really offset your opponent, confuse them, and that'll open up some of those fancy combos that I'm sure you guys already know and like so much. So if this video helped you get better at UFC 3, please, First, check out Ed Parker's channel. Check out Romero's channel. Those are great channels. They're gonna help you so much. But consider subscribing to your boy's channel as well. I think I have a thing or two left to teach you as well. So thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. If you're a fan of mixed martial arts, then your choices for content on TV are about as limited as Colby Covington's arsenal of one-liners and jokes. So, if you're like most of us, you have no other choice but to turn to YouTube. In my opinion, this is where the best 